Pardon the shades, it's really bright out here. All right, here we go with the slide intro for Big Empty by Stone Temple Pilots for Matt Klein and for you. Okay, but first, we, before we do it, I wanna tie it to something that you probably already know, so it's a little bit less mind-boggling. It was mind-boggling for me, uh, and now it's less mind-boggling, so I hope we can get you there too. This song, of course, starts with an E minor. Seven flat five, right? But it's an E minor chord nonetheless, so you could probably guess without too much thinking what minor pentatonic we're going to use for this solo. You got it, it's the E minor pentatonic, which is of course starting on the big fat E string. 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12 15, 12, 15. That is the E minor pentatonic scale. It's five notes. Ostensibly, you could play those five notes anywhere at all because any note you can play here, you can certainly play here or here. It just might be a different octave, but it's still the same note. So, let's learn another shape of the E minor pentatonic uh, that will make more sense for making this solo make sense, if that made sense. So, here we go. You probably never thought of this one, or maybe you have, or maybe you're brand new to soloing and this is your first thing ever. So, here's two shapes for you. We're going to start on baby E12 and go down to 10, then B12, B10, G12, G9, D12, D9, A12, A10, E12, E10. That's the same five notes as this. It's, you know, and some are repeated, that's why there's five. Uh, There it is. Also a fairly easy shape to remember and, you know, not very useful except for these ones. Those ones are useful. The, these two are useful, but these two do not tend to be useful. That's beside the point. You may have said to yourself, however, I have tried soloing in E minor with or without a slide before and it didn't sound nearly as cool as when the Stone Temple Pilots do it. That's because the Stone Temple Pilots add two notes into this shape. G string 12th fret, G string 11th fret. That is the minor two. F sharp, G, F sharp. I mean, yep, E, F sharp, G, there it is. F sharps everywhere, <laughs> a bunch of F sharps. Point is, that's a note that the Stone Temple Pilots added to this scale to make it sound cool. There's one more note that they added. Here's our B on the 12th fret of the B string. You recognize that instantly as from this solo. It's B flat. It's the flat five. It's the note on the third fret of the G string that makes this E minor an E minor seven flat five, right? There it is. And it fits really nicely in with that chord. Great. One more thing before we get to the slide. Let's do it without the slide so we can sort of like I said, make sense of it. We're gonna start on G12, 11, 12, 11, D12, D9. Now from B10 to 12, and then E10, B12, E10, B11, B8, 10, 11, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, E10. One more time, slow, without talking. It was awful. <laughs> There it is, without the slide. Now let's add the slide. We're not, see, when you're sliding, sometimes it's more convenient, by the way, this is my first 24 hours with this device, <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be a little sloppy, and uh, some of the things I'm gonna say have been, uh, you know, just things that I just sort of figured out here, just messing around with it, and uh, if you have some wisdom to add, please, for the love of God, add some wisdom. But what I was gonna say was, sometimes it's more convenient to slide up and down, called a slide than it is to switch strings even if the note is real close but uh, having said that here we go we're not gonna be like in this shape the whole time we're gonna move around okay start on G let's see start on B8 now I should say if you want to play B8 with the slide you need to put it right over where the metal bar is 
leaving the eighth fret going into the ninth fret because when you press the string down what you're really doing is making the string touch that metal bar so this is a metal bar that can be anywhere at all so you have to be really precise with where it goes or you'll be flat or sharp by like two cents and uh, it'll sound atrocious unless you pull it off and then it'll sound really wonderful. But here we go. Start on B8. And I'm going to slide up to it. Seven, eight, seven, three, three. Open B. Here's our B10 to 12. And then you got to switch real quick to the E10. B12, E10. B11, and now we go 8, 10, 11, 10, 8, 8, 10, 8, and then we do our 10 to 12 slide, and E10. One more time, nice and smooth. Start on B8, and slide up to it. 7, 8, 7, 3, 3. I'm on the B string only so far. Open. 10, 12, E10. B12, E10, B11, B10, oops, B8. <laughs> 8, 10, 11, 10, 8, 8, 10, 8, 12, E, 10. Oh, that was terrible. One more time with no talking at all. And then I'm going to try my very first picture-in-picture -picture action and play rhythm and okay, see how it works. Okay, here we go. B, 10. Now with me and me. Hi me. Hi me. One, two, three, four. So Matt and you, I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, and thanks for being here, and thanks for that request. I had a really nice, enriching, educational time trying to learn that uh, for me and for you and for us, and it was really great. So thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.